kind of an impromptu topic. It just turned out to be breaking news just a little bit ago. Kevin Durant is out indefinitely, which appears it's a torn MCL. Right now he's out indefinitely, but the report says he's going to be evaluated in four weeks. So he's at least out for at least the next, probably, with my prediction, probably six to eight weeks. And that's just the minimum. This kind of reminds me of the Steph Curry last year in the playoffs where Steph Curry tore, I believe it was his MCL as well, and he was out for the rest of the Houston series. So he was out for fairly maybe two to three weeks. But I feel like this is probably more serious than it was with Steph Curry last year. So at least they're taking precautions. Because the Warriors have pretty much already locked up the number one seed in the West. They've pretty much locked up a spot in the playoffs. The worst they can do is probably a two or three seed. But as far as how doomed the Warriors are, I just feel like they're more doomed than what people think. I feel like they're more doomed than what the country is predicting that they're going to be doomed by. Because some people think the Warriors are going to be doomed at all. Even though they lost to the Wizards last night, maybe they were... Maybe that was kind of a mental check win because they lost one of their teammates to injury. However, I just feel like if Kevin Durant can't return for the playoffs, I don't think they can win the championship. They're at least getting to the Western Conference Finals. And I've seen some tweets throughout my Twitter timeline about some people thinking that the Rockets and the Spurs have a really great chance of upsetting the Warriors in the playoffs if they meet up. And I kept saying I just screwed the statement. But right now it seems like somebody could knock them down in the playoffs. It's kind of a mental check for these Warriors right now. Because you don't they don't know how long Kevin Durant is out for. But if I were to predict that I would say I'd say maybe six to eight weeks. So it gives them a little bit of time. Probably you'll probably come back during the first round of the playoffs. Maybe they'll rest him in the first series. Because the Warriors are pretty much a lock for at least a spot in the Western Conference Finals at this point. They may not win the NBA championship or they might not be in the finals, but they're at least getting to the Western Conference Final. They're at least getting to that point. And the Warriors, they got some tough challenges kind of ahead in the next week. And they have they play in the Atlanta Hawks next week, and they're playing a bunch of teams that could really beat them at this point. The Hawks are kind of an underrated team. Playoff caliber teams are coming up for these Warriors. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. I don't think, I think they're doing more than they were with when Curry was down last year. Because some of these nights, Curry hasn't been consistent. I mean, just the other night, he... Did not make a single three-point shot against the 76ers. Steph Curry's had some bad nights. And if the bad nights continue for Steph Curry or Klay Thompson, the Warriors are going to begin to lose in some games down the road. And I'm going to leave it at that. Like and subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time. Have a great day.